Hi, I'm Carl Tannenbaum, Chief Economist for Northern Trust. I had a disconcerting moment during a recent weekend away. When I first walked into the kitchen at the apartment we had rented, I noticed a video panel on the refrigerator flashing red and telling me that something was wrong. The appliance was encouraging me to check the age of the milk inside, which it suspected of being spoiled. It was a false alarm, leaving me wishing for the days when appliances kept their opinions to themselves. A whole range of consumer products has gotten smarter, meaning that they can do more for themselves and for us. Performing these advanced tasks requires microchips, which can be found in everything from doorbells to dog feeders. I suppose this is a good thing overall, but it has been a bad thing during the pandemic. COVID-19 placed a premium on advanced technology as workers and students were forced to stay home. Demand for devices and services that use microchips surged, putting pressure on supply. A large fraction of the world's semiconductors are produced in Asia, and Taiwan produces almost all of the most advanced versions. It isn't at all easy to increase production, given the sophisticated equipment and spotless environments required. So for the past year, the world has been enduring a severe chip shortage that has hindered the production of goods that require them. Cars are a case in point. Advanced electronics can account for more than 40% of the cost of a new vehicle. Assembly lines were forced to slow and stop early this year for want of components. The dearth of new cars led to a run on used cars whose prices have been rising rapidly. Beyond easing today's bottlenecks, there is a desire in many corners to increase the geographic diversity of production to avoid supply limitations that could impact civilian and strategic applications. Chip makers have announced plans to expand capacity, but new facilities take years and billions of dollars to complete. As a result, the prices of chips and the goods that require them may continue to rise. To help alleviate these shortages, I might suggest that we all remember how to parallel park our own cars and retake responsibilities for monitoring dairy spoilage. Doing so would also spare us the annoying lectures that we get from our cars and appliances when we do something wrong. And that's the view from here.